Hi, my name is Brett Birdsong. I'm the children's pastor here at Muckleteal Foursquare, and I'm also the host on our brand new YouTube channel, Objectively Cool! This is where we do science for God! This is gonna be a lot of fun. And my purpose here, our purpose here today, and all the time on this channel, is to help you as a children's worker figure out cool ways to present the gospel using science! That's right, because science and God are not incompatible. And that's a really cool message. God is truth. Science is a search for truth. So guess what? Maybe science, real science, is a truth, is a search for God. Anyway, here, we're going to do some cool stuff. And the first thing that we're going to do is a little thing I like to call uh, pencils through a bag of water. I wish I had a catchier name for that, but that's what I call it. So we're going to start out with the... Uh, bag. doesn't have any water in it, but ta-da! I've got water and I've got pencils. Now I could just start out here and fill the bag of water and poke pencils through it and demonstrate, you know, things like molecular cohesion and all that stuff. That wouldn't be very interesting and we're all about interesting. And so what you got to do is you got to ramp up the effect. You got to make it theatrical, maybe dangerous, maybe Suspenseful. And for that, I have Charlie. Charlie, come on over here. Charlie's going to help me here. We're going to fill up this bag. Charlie, I want you to just uh, fill up the uh, bag full of water. Of course. I will hold that for you. Pour that in there. Nice full of water. There we go. All right, so that's, that's good enough. There we, we got enough water in there. Now, we need to make this suspenseful. Now, I could just have Charlie stand in squat because he's really tall. And I could put it over his head like that and we could like poke the bag, but that's not suspenseful enough. So we have another young lady here named Ariana. And Ariana is going to come setting up here. Ariana is Charlie's daughter. That's right. Ariana, hi. How old are you? Well, she's How almost is she? one. Almost one. Almost one. Can you sit down right there? Can you sit down right there? Now, Charlie, can you hold the bag over Ariana's head right there like that? We're not going to tell mommy we're doing this, okay? She's out in the other room. She doesn't know this. Now, now we have something suspenseful. Is the bag in the shot? Okay, cool. So we have Ariana. Hi, sweetheart. And we have a bag full of water. And we have seven super pointy pencils. Now, let's take those super pointy pencils and put them through the bag full of water without getting Ariana wet. Here we go. You're gonna go right through the bag full of water. You gotta do this slow so that Ariana doesn't get wet. There we go. Cool. Ariana, are you wet? No, she's cute. This is YouTube gold, you know, babies in danger. No, not in danger, she's no danger. So, second pencil. We're gonna put this pencil in right this way. Yeah, look at that. Do you feel any wetness? No wetness? No. Uh -uh. That's because she's got super dry pampers on. Can we say pampers? Hey, it's, look at that, three pencils, and nothing is happening to Ariana. Isn't that amazing? Whoa! -hoo! Yeah, nothing is going on because nothing is getting out of the bag, no matter how many pencils we push through the bag. Ariana is still dry. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Here we go. Pencil number six. Right through the bag. Six. Right over here. Six. Uh -oh. Amazingly super sharp pointy pencils. Right through the bag. And Ariana is still completely dry. Isn't that amazing? So, what we're doing, building suspense. And we're poking one more pencil through the bag. And Ariana is still dry. Hi. That's right. Why? Well, this is our whole point. Thank you, Charlie. You can take Ariana because we want to keep her dry. Bye-bye. So, now we could, we've done the demonstration here, okay? So we took the bag full of water and we poked it full of pencils, right, like that. And no water came out. I can hold it over my head and no water's going to come out. 
And so this is our science demonstration. And what we do on object, Objectively Cool is to take a cool science demonstration and then help the kids see what the spiritual principle behind that demonstration is. So what is the principle here? So the first thing you want to do is talk to the kids about why this worked. Okay? Uh, so why it worked. The molecules of the bag closed in around the pencils and keep the molecules of the water inside the bag. And so that's really, really pretty cool. In fact, these pencils on the outside, they're dry. There's no water on them because they were, the water was all squeezed off of them by the bag. Now, while you're teaching, hold the bag up. Keep the bag right here where the kids can see it because the kids are sitting there listening to your lesson. They're going, wow, look at that. It's really, it's not even dripping. Okay? So what kind of lessons can we teach with this? Well, one thing, it looks impossible. It's not impossible, we just did it, but it looks impossible. And so sometimes maybe God asks us to do things that we think are impossible, like pointing or poking a bag full of water with seven pointing pencils. That looks impossible, but it's not. God knew it wasn't. He knew that he had equipped you to do whatever impossible thing you were thinking about doing that he asked you to do. And if you trust him, you can do it. So, if Charlie, can you bring me some cups? Okay, we got some cups. I'm going to do one more part of this demonstration. Now, what if the Lord asks you to do something that you think is really impossible to do, but you go ahead and do it anyway? And what if that impossible thing might be something like forgiving somebody who's done something wrong to you? Like these pencils could represent, so uh, I don't know, mean things that people have done. And God has uh, asked you to say, to go ahead and just take those things and, be, and, and forgive people. And so if you forgive them and you begin to pull those pencils out, now I'm going to hopefully have this right here. Oops, there we go. Then you can begin, <laughs> you can begin to bless other people when you forgive because those blessings are able to come out and fill up the people around you. So that's one way. Those are uh, two different lessons that you could use with this. And uh, so have some fun with that. Uh, I, I think we need, uh, we need more cups. More cups, please. More cups. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right, so what do you need for this demonstration? Well, first of all, you need a big Ziploc bag. It's got to be a Ziploc bag. Uh, so that uh, you can close it up once you've filled it up with water, okay? You need water. Here's our pitcher of water. Uh, seven super pointy pencils right there, all right, to poke through the bag. You also need a couple of cups for the last part of the demonstration. Oh, what's really super important? You need some helpers. So Charlie, come on over here. So we got Charlie and Ariana. She's the cutest thing, isn't she great? So we need somebody to help you hold the bag and we need a victim. And uh, so that's what we need for this demonstration. So all of this is available in your kitchen, probably. So this is a super cheap uh, demonstration to do. We're calling it a half a test tube in our difficulty level, okay? Just a half a test tube. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Hey, can I have a, can, can you give me five? This is called, give me five, can you give me five? Give me five? Huh? Can you give me five? <laughs> no, okay, how about a smile? Smile real big? Getting nothing from you, kid. Okay. Thank you.